Hi, it's Michelle and I'm a certified holistic nutritionist and emotional eating expert. And today I wanted to kind of clear up a few myths around dieting and how they really set you back from having sustainable change. So I recently had a client tell me um, that she joined a gym and there was this 21 day plan that she thought would be fun to do. And this is after we had worked together. And when she started doing the plan, it almost shifted her back into her old habits. And this is the interesting thing. When you've been dieting or trying to control or restrict your food or the way you eat for most of your life, and then you start having a new pattern, a new way of being that's more sustainable, and then you go back and yo-yo back into the old way, it's very compelling. And, you know, it sort of lures you in because you haven't been practicing this new way of being sustainable for long enough. And those diets are so tricky. They make you think that if you just do something for three three weeks or, or whatever a certain amount of period that you're gonna get these amazing results and you think, oh, I can totally do that. I can totally restrict myself and then just go back to normal. But the thing is, it messes with your psychology and messes with your body I, it really restricts you and the sad thing is is that those diets those restrictions they don't take into account you they don't care about you and your emotions and what you've gone through and maybe why you seek out food to really comfort yourself and to feel safe around food sometimes when we've gone through things in our life and they're really emotional um, or even I'd say traumatizing which means they weren't resolved we want to comfort ourselves, we want to cope. And if we don't know how to move through our emotions, we're going to pick something. And, and for an emotional eater, that's gonna be food. Food is gonna be comforting to you. And in a way, you're gonna feel nourished by it to a degree in that it makes you feel safe when you eat food and it gives you that feel good feeling. It releases those chemicals in your body. But those 21 day plans, they're very one dimensional. They just look at eat this and it's really calories in and calories out and it's not looking at you holistically. It's not even looking at food holistically because if you've watched uh, another one of my videos, which I'll link, is that one part of satisfying hunger is that your stomach is physically full. It has stretch receptors that you have physically the amount of food you need. Um, there's other things that go into really satisfying hunger and diets don't talk about that. And so you need to try something different. You need to do something in a different way. And I'm gonna share with you what helps you have sustainable change, what moves you into sustainable change. And that's going to be true nourishment. So that's going from restriction to actually sustained and satisfying meals that are nourishing your body. That's going into accepting your body where it's at instead of punishing it. So transforming that limiting mindset of I should weigh and look a certain way into accepting where you're at and finding your new healthy and accepting your body. And then of course, emotional wellness. So looking at how you use food to emotionally cope and shifting into emotional wellness where you're moving through your emotions and you're having a healthier relationship with them and you're actually hearing their wisdom. And then there are other lifestyle factors that help to promote the sustainability because at the end of the day, when you're doing something for your body that's different, when you're changing habits, when you're trying to do something that's gonna promote health in your body, you need to have patience with yourself you need to have care for yourself and it needs to be a compassionate way. And as you change those habits, because those habits and those things that you've been doing, you've been doing them because they're serving a purpose, they're protecting you and they're making you feel safe. And you need to start a new way of doing things that also makes you feel safe and protected and that makes you feel good. And then that creates sustainability. So, you know, it's so important to ditch this dieting mentality. These are so many myths and there's so many diets and there's, it's a lot of noise out there. It's so much noise. And when you truly get into a way of sustaining your body, your health, your emotions, then you're not going to listen to the noise because you have something to actually feel if it's 
good for you or not. That's your body. You're going to experience it rather than think something is going to be good for you. So I hope this video has helped you sort of see the how diets just really are not there to serve you. Um, they, they just have one, you know, after 21 days, you're left on your own hanging with whatever else you know, health issues, gaining weight, um, not be able, able to sustain that challenge. Um, so they're not very beneficial to you. They're quite detrimental. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know. Uh, I look forward to sharing more with you. And of course, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you have a great day.